is supposed to shift tonight and start coming out of the north and this setup is just not for a north wind and we're gonna get down out here a little early and uh, hike back to camp go try something different in the morning after Daniel shot his buck you know we didn't waste any time going out and trying to sit in some new spots and we just really didn't see the older bucks in any of those setups and after a while, we realized the only place we hadn't hunted in some time was the place Daniel shot his buck. The weather was right, so we knew that if we could sneak into this area quietly, we'd have a really good chance at seeing something new uh, in an area that's been good to us so many times. We weren't even got light. We had a whole bunch of deer on us. The sun came up and it was just one of those picture perfect sunny mornings. And we knew that if we could just sit tight, we might see something, you know, moving through this natural pinch point. And just as we were thinking, you know, maybe this hunt was over, I caught a glimpse of something coming through the field and I could see a, a dark rack. And so the hopes were high that this might be something that we want to take a shot at. I was ready and I was preparing to possibly take this deer and we were hoping it was going to keep coming right towards that gate and what can I say, something just was not right. And the deer came in and as it got close to about 35 yards, it turned around and headed back out into the fields where it came from. that buck was in the area so we wanted to go back in and try and hunt it but unfortunately we had some weather rolling and stir the deer up but it, the wind was just not going to work with a northern wind so in the meantime we hunted some other spots and when we didn't see anything there the weather broke and we finally got our chance to go back into that area Temperatures were cool, the rut was coming on, and it was the perfect opportunity. As long as we didn't get spotted up there, we were gonna hopefully see some good bucks. We had seen a number of deer, and out of the corner of my eye, I caught some movement, and sure enough, I saw that wide buck coming in. and he was right in front of me and I just got a different glimpse at him. And I could see that this deer just really wasn't the mature buck that we were looking for. I thought it was the right move. And I passed on that buck and we decided to hold out and, and see what might come out. It's late deer season now for us. It's like the second week of January and we're just gonna sit tight and hope and pray for some last minute action because it's coming down to the wire. You know, every year when we bow hunt, we try to 
shoot an impressive deer, a, a deer that's bigger than anything we've shot in previous years. That is part of it. But at a certain point in the season, it becomes more about meat. Over here, let me see that. Huh? Yeah. Stupid bastard. We try to shoot two or three deer a year that you know, we store and use throughout the whole year. And that is what hunting is really about. And although we're disappointed and questioning ourselves as to why we can't find the older, mature, bigger, antlered bucks, uh, we try not to let it really get us down because the sense of our true quest is starting to set in. Well, after we made the switch, we knew that there was some really good deer activity on a certain hillside. I think it's gonna be a good hunt. We just need to go get quiet up in the stand. It's late in the year and we've been baiting this area the whole season. Sure enough, I looked down the hill and caught a glimpse of some antlers coming through the brush. yards that's awesome <laughs> even got them on our in our hands right before dark that's how you know you made a good lethal shot that's awesome got my meat I got my trophy buck in my book and I'm ready to close out the season now, so I'm just excited. Everything worked perfect finally. Now that I shot my deer and deer season is over, life goes on in a sense. There's so many things that we enjoy doing in the outdoors and it's kind of all a reminder that when you're just trophy oriented, you lose touch with why we're really doing this. And that is to hunt for food and to fish for food. That's why I'm getting ready to go fishing right now. Are we gonna catch some trophy fish? Yes. But is that what it's all about? No. And we're gonna keep the tradition alive of pursuing life that way.